Welcome everybody to the penalty box segment. It is Tuesday and I've got three NHL bets for you all. Look, I'm going to, I'm going to talk about two of them, uh, together. Um, if you've been following me and you're one of my NHL clients, not only have you made an absolute freaking ton of money, I'm on an eight and two and 14 and four run. Uh, you've also noticed that I am constantly playing the same two teams under the total. Almost every time uh, Winnipeg plays, I've bet under the total. Almost every time Pittsburgh has played of late, I have bet under the total. Uh, there is no reason to stop it now. Both of these teams uh, are just stone cold unders. If you look at the Pittsburgh New York Islanders uh, game, you got a Pittsburgh team that is 17 and 32 to the under this year. And why? Well, firstly, they are playing good defense, and Jari has, especially of late, played some outstanding hockey uh, in net. However, the main reason they keep playing to the under is this team just can't seem to find the net. If you go down their last 10 games, one, four, two, one, two, three, three, two, 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 six, one, two, three, four, five, seven of the last 10 games. This team has not scored more than two goals, seven of the last 10. I don't expect them to be some scoring juggernaut all of a sudden tonight. And when you look at the Islanders, although this team is 30 and 21 to the over this year, uh, this team is also... This team is going to regress on that over. When all said and done, it'll be way closer than that. I think when you look at the Islanders, this is a team that wants to play tighter hockey, wants to play more defensively, really doesn't have the guns up front to run and gun with anybody in the league. I look at these two teams, I see a six on the board. I'm taking under the total in this game. As for Winnipeg and Minnesota, look, this Minnesota team blew their load last night. Uh, they just beat Vancouver 10 to 7. They scored seven goals in one period, which is unbelievable. Now they go into Winnipeg and play a Winnipeg team who's just come off of a loss against Calgary. Now I know Winnipeg is starting their backup goalie, but I don't think that really matters that much. This Winnipeg team plays the best defensive system in all of hockey by far. This is a team that is really, really tough to score on. If you go down and you look, uh, this is a team, go and look at the statistics. Number one in the league in preventing goals. Uh, really good at keeping shots off the net. But what I really love about this play is that Winnipeg lost last night. And I expect Winnipeg to play a much better game than they did last night. In order for Winnipeg to beat teams, they need to keep games under. They don't want to get into a 10-7 shootout. They want to win games 2-1, 3-1, 3-2. That is right in their wheelhouse. So basically, any time Winnipeg loses a game, I'm looking to come back the next game with under the total. The last game we're going to talk about is the New York Rangers and the Dallas Stars. Before we get into that, guys, please buy my NHL plays. I got two up tonight. They come with two college basketball plays. I'm up double-digit units in both college and NHL I'm just rolling. I'm seeing hockey so well right now. Please take advantage of that. Okay, let's talk New York Rangers against the Dallas Stars. This is basically just a terrible spot for Dallas. This team went into Boston last night, one of the best teams in the league. Same with Dallas. And they were up 3-2. Boston got a uh, late goal in the last minute of the game, took it to overtime, and won. Uh, this is a dejected Dallas team that then had to fly to New York. Granted, not a long flight, but either way, they still had a travel day. They're on a back-to-back. -back. They're playing a well-rested Rangers team who's been waiting at home. And I think the Rangers are one of the best teams in the league. I love, love the spot for the Rangers, but I really like the spot to bet against Dallas. So that's it. Take the Islanders and Pittsburgh under, Minnesota and Winnipeg under, and the New York Rangers on the money line. We will see you all tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching.